Hi mommies and daddies, welcome back to MomCom India. Did you know that no matter how much you prepare for parenthood, but once your baby comes in this world, in the initial three months, there will be just so many things that will worry you as a new parent. These things may surprise you, these things may just terrify you, these things may make you just rush to your doctor, but you also need to know that all of these things are absolutely normal. Now that my baby is two year plus, I've already experienced a lot of this and hence I've created a list of things that absolutely absolutely worried me initially but when I rushed to my doctor figured out what they are I found out that they are absolutely normal and as a new parent it is absolutely normal to be worried about them and also know how to handle them so if you are a pregnant woman or you are a new mom you must watch this video in detail also if you're an experienced mom my request to you would be that you also must watch this and add anything that I may have missed out considering every mom's experience is different and add anything that I may have missed out considering your experience can be different and help the larger community to get more information so let's get started so while there will be just so many things that are going to worry you that are going to give you sleepless nights initially uh, you know I have created a list of top 10 things that worried me the most especially the first time that I experienced them and number one on that list is soft spot now a soft spot is something that you may find on the top of the head or on the back of the head it is absolutely normal and it just goes away on its own each baby takes their own time considering where it is and how long is it going to take but eventually it is go on its own there are definitely some signs which are alarming signs but then that's very rare and I can do a separate video video on that to cover it in detail but Kabir had a soft spot on the back so I, I clearly remember that every time I used to go to the doctor I would touch the soft spot or I would make her touch it and ask that if it is normal or not if it is fading away or not but that was number one of my worry the second worry that you will have is the sudden pimples or redness of the skin that you will see that might be immediately when the baby is born or that might be seen a couple of days later but again that's absolutely normal that is just the skin adjusting to the new environment. The third worry that you will have is this sudden flaky skin. You will feel that the skin is just peeling off and what's happening to my baby, you know, you're applying the best of the creams or the best of the brands are being used, but suddenly the skin seems to appear very whitish, very dry, very flaky, seems to be coming off. Again, that's absolutely normal. That's the first layer of the skin that does come out and the next layer of the skin comes and forms as per the environment that the child is in and that is the layer that you will keep nurturing and keep improving in the years to come the fourth one is sneezing every time that Kabir used to sneeze I would feel that oh my god that he has a cold or he has a flu something is wrong but most of the times I was wrong because most of the times it was nothing but his body's way of adjusting to the climate adjusting to the temperature or just this minor dirt minor pollution or something trapped in his nose considering babies have such little little nostrils and you know sneezing is their way of throwing everything out or just adjusting to the temperature or the environment so that is what used to happen the next one is hiccups I am sure that everyone will agree with me that if you get a hiccup you will definitely feel uncomfortable or you feel that you know you're in so much discomfort you will run to test the home remedies that your mom has told you or whatever you know about and similarly when hiccups happen to a baby we feel quite nervous we feel that oh my god the baby will be in such discomfort but if you look at the baby the baby is absolutely fine and is continuing to do their thing and hiccups come hiccups go hiccups are non-stop without even you doing anything to the baby because you can't do much with newborn babies even home remedies can't be done with newborn babies at such early stages you know hiccups is something that is very common hiccups is normal till the time it's not causing discomfort to the baby hiccups can come and hiccups can go the next one I think every mom will relate to it this is something that not only with babies I think we fear for ourselves also is pooping you are going to have sleepless nights thinking about how many times did my baby poop today did he even poop today or not what was the color of the poop what was the texture of the poop what was the smell of the poop you know these are so many thoughts that will keep you up all the night because this is something that just happens pooping uh, you know a lot of people consider that to be a way of knowing whether your baby is doing fine or not but if you really ask me pooping is just this 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 whole book 
that can be written on baby poop. I've done a video separately on what to expect from baby poop in the first three months because I just experienced so many variations in my initial days. So I think you should definitely go and watch that video. But know that baby poop will be very, very different on one day to the other and your baby can go without pooping for as long as seven days and that's considered to be normal. The next one is spit ups. Now this has been one of the most difficult one for me to personally handle because Kabi used to spit up quite a lot and I used to feel that he, my baby is so small and his tummy is going to be even more smaller so, and he drinks this much quantity of milk. So how come if he's spitting up, you know, will it not impact his growth? Will it not impact his weight gain? Will it not impact his physical development? Uh, how would his hunger be satisfied? Basically what's happening to him? And every time I would visit my doctor, this used to be my question. In fact, I have done some out of turn visits also apart from the regular vaccination visits also to specifically go with this question or this concern that my baby is spitting up and every time my doctor would tell me that it is absolutely normal. There are so many reasons why babies spit up. I've done a video on that also. You must go and watch that if your baby has this problem. So basically there are so many reasons that it happens but what I learned out of it is that eventually it just goes away. It is just a matter of time. It is just a matter of your baby's digestive system being stronger, your baby's hold being stronger, your baby's body developing and eventually it's gonna go away. The next one is gas. Now, obviously, this is very, very normal. The way the babies used to have their food when they were inside the mother's tummy versus how they are supposed to have it now completely changes. A lot of babies take breastfeed, but they are not able to understand the whole breastfeeding process initially or they are given bottles because the mom is not making breast milk and they have to go through the whole formula process and you know they suck in a lot of air or the kind of quality of bottles being used basically there's so much happening that may lead to gas also now the way the baby communicates hunger changes a mother also takes time to understand whether the baby is hungry or not at times we end up creating a lot of gap at times we end up overfeeding the child so much happens with that little tummy that there are issues like gas or there are issues like stomach uh, ache that are bound to happen so just be prepared for that i think the best thing to do is that before you check out from the hospital post you deliver your baby you know these are this is the list that you should refer to and you should talk to your doctor that if all of this happens what is it that i'm supposed to do you know in most cases doctors give these gas relief drops which should only be used in emergency if you're seeing that your child is just crying crying and crying and nothing is helping and then you can use that on your doctor's recommendation you know so that actually should be something that should make it to your first aid kit i did not know about it i learned it through experience and then realized that that's something that i should give to my child but there are a lot of home remedies also that you can do there are a lot of ways that massage can help there are a lot of ways that feeding the baby right can help avoid the gas problem and I've done a video on that too so please make sure you watch that the next one is startling now this is the one when your baby is sleeping very calm very peaceful and suddenly you see the baby move and you feel that you know the baby is scared or you know uh, is is terrified because of something some loud sound or you know maybe darkness or just something and you get a lot nervous as to what's happening to your baby not only that there are a lot of theories around startling also you know if you speak to your grandmom she will say that 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 is the phase when the baby is connecting to angels or they are connecting to their previous life basically a lot of theories around that but you must know that startling is just a reflex the whole transition from a mother's womb to this environment is a huge huge and sudden transition for the baby you know usually every change needs time and every change needs to be done very smoothly but this change from one environment when the baby was totally in water getting constant food access you know was in a very protected environment to suddenly an environment which is just so different temperatures are different Different. the whole access to food is very different communication way is very different it's a big change for the baby and at times they have these startling reflexes which also eventually go uh, by around three months anywhere between two to three months you will see the startling reflexes start to go away so there's nothing to worry about and the last one is diaper rash I remember how much I feared a diaper rash knowing how discomforting can it be for the babies and the whole debate around 
around whether cloth diaper should be put or whether a regular diaper should be put and you know how did we eventually go with regular diapers only and we did hardly use cloth diapers i think we used cloth diapers only at the time of massaging our baby and that too very very rare but this whole debate around the rash because i remember once kabir had this rash when he was very very young and it was very painful you know the whole process of leaving the area air dry and uh, the baby crying every time they will poop or pee considering they pee so many times in a day you know he would go up to as high as 20 times peeing in a day so that used to be quite discomforting so that feared me quite a lot no matter what best quality diaper you've got or cloth diaper you've got or best quality rash creams you've got diaper rashes are bound to happen they will happen and there is a way that you have to protect them there's a way that you have to heal them and all of that information is also loaded on our channel in the form of so many videos but yeah that's also a worry that most parents have so this was my list of top 10 newborn worries that i think most of the parents have or every parent has their way of dealing it can be different but i'm very sure that these are worries or these are experiences that every parent would have gone through for some parents the worries can be completely different like a mom not making breast milk at all can be her biggest worry because every mom wants to give breast milk to her child or a baby not being able to latch can be a big worry that the mom is making milk but the baby is unable to latch so you know there those worries can be completely different and we should be prepared for that also i did not face that issue hence that's not in my list but in case you have faced that issue, please mention it in the comment section below so that it can help the larger community to know what is it that they should be ready for, especially in the first three months. I think if we know about all of these things, then it, it becomes easier for us to manage this phase. Otherwise, we constantly keep worrying about this whole phase rather than enjoying this phase with our child, which is just so important. I think every minute after your baby is born is just so precious and has to to has to be enjoyed because these moments will not come back and you will only think later that oh my god this was so easy oh my god had i known about it earlier i would have dealt with it in a very different way and why did i not enjoy it at that time so hence this video for you if you did find it to be useful please click on the like button and also subscribe to our channel because like i said there are just so many videos on our channel that can really really help you as a new mom or as a to be mom and can really prepare you for this journey and that's the whole whole vision and mission of Mobcom India. Thank you. Bye-bye.